Hello guys, this is Mike from uh, mcprogramming.org. Uh, today we are going to learn how to get my favorite IDE, which is Integrated Development uh, Environment. Um, it's called Eclipse. It's a text editor, whatever you want to call it. It's where we write our code and we can run it and save it and it saves everything in a nice format. Um, it compiles everything and it's free. Uh, I have Eclipse right here for, but it's the EE edition, which is the Enterprise edition. It has quite a few extra features that would make life a little bit harder for a beginner to understand it. So I'm going to go step by step with you to download just the standard Eclipse. So let's get started in here. In here, just search for Eclipse, Java, there's Eclipse downloads. And go right here to eclipse.org slash downloads and we are going to get uh let's see where is it Eclipse Standard Edition right here. I will download the Windows 64 bit right here. I guess you can change between Mac and Windows and Linux. I'm just gonna download the 64 bit and I guess United States is download. And right down here you can see it's downloading and it's going to be quite a while. It's a zip file, so I will get back to you as soon as this is done. Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, man, that took about 40 minutes to download this zip file. I don't think it's ever taken that long before. I guess my internet's a little messed up. Click on this on the Eclipse zip file. Wait for it to open. Maybe my whole computer's just running slow. Come on, buddy. Wind's up. Okay. I downloaded a zip uh, extractor. I forgot about this, so I guess we're going to have to do it here. Actually, I don't want to do that. Let's go to should be in your downloads file. Which one did I download? It's today the 11th. So right here is the file I downloaded and all you're going to want to do is let's see, extract all. There is no extract all. Okay, I guess we're going to have to use WinZip on the fly. Extract to um, not registered so just using it. Let's see. What is going on here? Downloads. No. Uh, if you want to yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to extract it to a folder within downloads and then I'll move that folder. Is your PC up to speed? The version, blah, 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 blah. Remind me later. I don't really care right now. I'm trying to get this done. Okay, um, I'm going to want to put this in my program files. So just throw that bad boy in there. Oh, I'm going to put it right here on the program files. Boom. Continue writing it okay now let's pray to God that this is the case there we go the one that has the purple circle which is the Eclipse uh, symbol and it also says application over here that is the f actual file that we'll be using um, let's see if I can uh, send it to the desktop just to make life a lot easier for us and I already have a couple eclipses on there, so I'm going to rename this one to the standard eclipse right there. Bam. Okay, so you're going to want to open this up, and it'll take a second to load up, and you're going to be saving all your files in what's called a workspace, and all you have to do is name the path, and 
mine right now is C users my name and then the workspace so I usually keep it in that and just change the name of this um, for this case I'm going to say Java tutorials and I'll keep all of everything I go through within these videos in here and I will use this as my default and say OK let this load up and should have a okay so here's the workbench area we can get rid of this for now um, just click X and then here is your blank Eclipse uh, IDE this is where we're gonna get our hands dirty with the coding and I will run a little let's see how much time we got So we are about five minutes in. Let's say I'll just run a quick little program to run, but we will. This isn't official. This was just to get Eclipse up, but I'll show you how it works. Uh, we're just going to click Java Project and name. This will come up and let's get rid of this. Um, it's going to call it test. You want using the execution environment JRE. We have this seven so you always want to use the latest one um use a project specific jre so that is six huh let's see configure jres i'm gonna add um let's go add our the one we just downloaded the previous video use program files always get it mixed up so let's go in here and it's not in there it's in this file so open this up real quick and we're going to want to find the JRE7 there we go Say OK. Bam. Load that in there. So now we have the JR7. Say OK. So we can add the 7 there. Always want to use the latest one. Click Next. And uh, add a new class. So we'll call this test also. And it will automatically set up the blank class template for your public class test, and that will become more clear as time comes on what that means. I'm just going to show you that this does work. So we want a main method, which uh, is where the program looks first for the code. We'll call that public static void main string args. Like I said, this doesn't have to make sense yet. Going to do a system out stream. We're going to print to the computer screen. I'll say, "Hey, Eclipse works." So when I hit this uh, run test, this will automatically save the file test.java, compile it into a test.class, and it should display. Hey, Eclipse works down here because this will be our default console for right now. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's all correct. Say OK. Bam. Hey, Eclipse works. So this works, and the next uh, bit of videos will all be fun. It'll all be coding. No more setting anything up for right now. Uh, and we will explain some of these simple things and start getting a little bit more complex so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to my videos of uh, mic programming and also visit my website uh, it's kind of under construction but it it's available to view it doesn't it's not doesn't have much uh, functionality but it's uh, micprogramming.org so thank you all very much and y'all have a good night